The stage is set and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us for all the action coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Rafael Guerrero starts with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And now they get the ball rolling. Silva Lionel Messi Di Maria Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Portugal here? There needs to be. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. Promising sequence. He got in the way of that cross. Bruno Fernandes. And here's Cancelo. Otavio now takes the shot. Now keeper getting both gloves on the ball. Marcos Acuna is with Paredes. Messi. And room now out on the flank. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Very quick thinking there. 
Guerrero. Bernardo Silva. And in the perfect position to read it. Now the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And the no-nonsense clearance. It's opening up for them. And it all counts for naught. The referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, let's look at this again. It's a great bit of skill because he has to get both top spin and side spin on the ball at the same time. Look how much Bendy gets on that. Excellent goal. Goal. So 2 0 now. Argentina, number 10. Showing good vision. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Giovanni Lo Celso. Di Maria likes to get on the ball. And he has teammates to pass it to. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. But he's gone short with it. Romero. Di Maria. And good pressure high up the pitch. But he could give it away. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Pepe. It's with Joao Cancelo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Bruno Fernandes. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. A chance to whip it in. Nicely timed tackle. Messi Paredes and return to Messi Martinez real chance well the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong Stuart well he has to make the keeper work harder than that that's a tame finish Fernandes Ottavio. Joao Cancelo. On to Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo! And it took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. And played short.
splendid defending and it needed to be well, Argentina haven't had that much of the ball so far but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back I expect more of the same I think it's been a really good performance from them so far more defending for them to do here though oh what's he gone and done Ronaldo Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And they get the ball rolling again. The tails are up as far as Portugal are concerned. Celso. Poor pass. Bruno Fernandes. Cristiano Ronaldo. The ball with Otavio. Chance to play it in. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, that could be the final warning. Well, he needs to be careful now. Next foul, and it's a card. And Ronaldo tries his luck. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, as you can see, he's so alive to the rebound. He's first to react and then he gets his reward. It's a good goal. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Martinez. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Guerrero. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Paredes. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Martinez. De Paul. Lionel Messi. Opportunity to take the lead. Oh, it's in! They take the lead here. And just how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway.
Paredes and return to Di Maria just cutting off the supply not the best challenge free kick he goes short Martinez well he read that brilliantly at the back and Messi and there it is a two goal cushion now and just look at these fans the trophy coming their way surely well here we can see it again and it doesn't get any better does it that's just sloppy from the goalkeeper. That's a terrible goal to give away. Goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. number 10, Lionel Messi. Bernardo Silva strength and control a big part of his game Cancelo a really effective shielding under pressure Neves can he convert and a goal he's put it away a celebratory moment Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, how about this? 4-3. Three. Molina. Rodrigo de Paul. Nicely timed tackle. Otavio. It's with Ruben Neves. And Portugal with the ball again. Messi. Needs an accurate cross. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Well, able to close down the shot. Plenty of support here. Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Doing well to keep possession. Joao Cancelo might be able to set up the chance. Bernardo Silva. This could level it. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. It's a short corner. Andres Silva, and no way through. Martinez. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Can they take advantage? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Dybala a glorious chance and a goal to increase their advantage to two overall that little bit of a cushion now it's all about keeping the concentration well here's the replay what a pass this is from Martinez and then the shot could not be hit any better struck with such venom great goal Not a 
scoreline we see all that often. 5 3. 20 minutes to go in this one. Andre Silva. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. Neves. Promising possession, this. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. And over it comes. And an effective clearance. Neves. Is it going to be? That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. <laughs> Who can he pick out? Very quick thinking there. Paredes. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Options in the centre. Neves. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Dybala. He has teammates around him. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Dybala. Jota. Guerrero. High quality defending. Otamendi. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Top class defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Leal. And Bernardo Silva has it. So now a corner. <laughs> Played over. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Taglia Fico. Now Correa. Correa. Crossing opportunity. Can he finish? And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Silva. It's with Joao Cancelo. He's going forward well here. Neves. Well, getting in the way. Superb save.
Now sending it in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, they pulled one back, but perhaps a bit too late in this contest. They haven't been at the races this evening. Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.